guys, it's Kainesia, and in today's video, I will be reacting going to episode 5 of 227, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> yeah, I think the wall went away until everybody got here. That's a bit. What else would it be? But okay, Hannah, I thought this was supposed to focus on Mia, and especially with the guy or whoever who was in her in the picture that she was talking about last week, because. We all know that, well, for Sakura and her business with the fact is that her dad only wanted her to be in Tokyo for a month. And now that she's a part of an idol group, we're still wondering how the hell she's going to, you know, balance that out. Especially with the fact is she needs to tell her parents. And I feel like this company has already sent her parents something to know that she's in an idol group. I'm not 100% sure. But, I mean, come on, they're... To me, this company is always one step out of these girls because me didn't tell, you know, her mom until the company invited her to a performance. So it seems like they probably know every little detail of these girls' lives. Possibly maybe Miyoko has to do something with this boy. She did see, look at a picture of her family. So it seems like maybe her family's in a crisis, maybe? I, I, I mean... It's just a big old guess from this first, like, first few minutes of the episode, so I have no clue. But if it is a family crisis thing, that could be just her reason why she wants to do it. Or it's just something else. <laughs> Flip it over. Oh, I'm looking at the title. <laughs> I mean, the connections, Mr. Walla, so. Mm.
right? <laughs> Okay, so you have brothers and sisters. <laughs> but that's not fair. Of seven, girl. Seven kids and the mother's been divorced four times. How do you, how do you stay calm with seven kids? So that's right though. Yeah, but it just feels like you guys don't know each other. We're five, no, no, yeah, five episodes in. Come on, Nicole. <laughs> but goddamn seven kids I don't even know if I could do that <laughs> so cute when she smiles. Mm. Yeah. 
Let's look at some fur. But it'll be good for you plus your family. I mean, but still, it seems like she's in a crisis. Their family is in a crisis in a way because of the fact is, yes, the mom is the only one that works. And she's the oldest and she doesn't have a job. She just goes to school. I don't want to tell her the truth about you being a fashion designer. Yeah, because that's opportunity knocking. If you become famous, I'll find you. Either you'll find him or he'll find you. Mm -mm. That's for you to go to Tokyo.
Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, you're worried about them, honey. They're your family. See, the biggest thing that I kind of wish that some idol animates would go into, we get to see the ins and the outs of these girls, but the biggest thing, we don't really get to see how much they get paid for. I've seen some documentaries, like people have seen, like for YouTube and everything, and they kind of tell me that they don't really get paid as much. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That same mom, but not the same dad. I mean, if you had set, okay, you got seven kids and you slept with four different men, the first two came from the first one. That's fine. So then maybe the next letter was three and two. Really? <laughs> Put it all together. Manage. You just go follow your dreams. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Well, what if by the time you find him, he's with another family already? Oh, dang, that sucks. Yeah, but the girl's still holding a secret. Okay, so, I, I mean, I got a lot of questions. I'm wondering who's going to be the next focus. Mia is really interesting, and to find out that the reason why she's doing this is to find her father. But as I said, let's just say she does find her father, or her father does find her. What if her father has another family already? You got seven damn kids from four different men, four different divorces, and you can see that, yes, they're struggling. Um... The mother only works. She's the oldest out of everyone, while the youngest looks like maybe they are three, maybe four, maybe five years old, I believe. Um, so, I mean, yeah, it's a little complicated. And even where they live, they still are, you know, they're cramped. They're in a cramped little space. They're poor, but they still make the best of their life, just as much as everybody else in today's society in the world. Whether you are rich or poor, you deal with the consequences that you have and you try to do better for whatever you, you want to do. She's an interesting character, but I'm hoping, I'm like, I got questions on Rekha now, who she was on the phone with. I mean, I, I would love for Rekha to be the next girl that we get to see. I don't think she'll be the next one. It's either between Nicole, who is my other personal favorite, and the blue-haired girl, because her blue-haired girl and Nicole are my Rekha, no, Rekha, Nicole, and uh, Blue Hair Girl, my three personal faves. There's two this time. No, three. Why three? Between the even and odd numbers. But why three? Um, okay, hold up. And and it, cause it kind of makes me now think they're gonna do what I think they're gonna do. I don't really want this to go this route because I feel like if they're going to do it, it's gonna be a little too much. It seems because there's three cards, it seems like we're gonna get a focus on three different girls, but there's three different things that they have to do. The wall wants them to do next week. What that is, we ain't gonna know until next Saturday. But if we're gonna focus on three girls, I would want it to be Nicole, Rico, and the blue haired girl. Or at least maybe the girl who is, you know, doing her own drawings and stuff like that. Because each girl has a big secret. And with Mew, it was her discovering her confidence. For Sakura, it's the fact is that she's here because she wants to see um, Japan because of what her grandma has told her. But the biggest thing is her dad wants her to come home ASAP with um, Miyoko. She's here to look for her dad. For the rest of these other girls we really don't know anything about them i do love the fact that they all went over to her um her apartment for them to have a party and to just spend time together because literally 
we're now five episodes going into six episodes and, and we've only really seen them do something together either when it's coming to performance or they're practicing for something except that first episode where it was first impressions of each of the girls and how like okay who's best girl who's not really worst girl because everybody's best girl in this series they're all equally best girls um but just having that little party it was just sweet just to see them all together not having to deal about work and everything just to have fun and let their hair down and just chill you know i mean that's those are your girlfriends even though yes they are also your co-workers and your idol members those are your girlfriends at the end of the day you want to spend time with them and it was really sweet and i enjoyed it for what it was but whatever the heck is gonna go on next week i mean we ain't gonna know until then but other than that guys that is my reaction to you towards episodes 5 of 22 7 if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next saturday for episode 6 bye guys Thank you.